Hello, Bump Club. Let's wait for a couple of people to get on and we will get started. You are here with Cooking with Adida and the cool groovy girl, Mila. Check us out, man. <laughs> now you got it. There we go. We decided to have a little bit more fun with our video today. So we are using the mystery mask. What do you think? <laughs> okay. So you are on with Cooking with Adida and Mila. Cool chick here as we put on our mystery masks. And today we are going to be making coconut chocolate bites. Hello, how are you? Where are you from? Tell me where you're from, Chelsea. What part of the world are you reaching us from? Hi guys, message me. Let me know where you're, where you're from. We've got the mystery mask going on here. So that's Mila behind the, behind the show. <laughs> so we are going to be making chocolate coconut bites and it is coming from my superpowers of the family kitchen book. Okay. You guys have a coupon for the digital version of this in the description there, but we're going to be working from page 155 and we are going to be making chocolate coconut bites. Yes, we are. Yum, yum. Okay. You ready? And I promised you, cause I know a couple of people said that they, Ooh, Northern Virginia, California, cool. Pennsylvania. Okay. So I know a couple of people wanted me to do more recipes of like food and we're going to do that next Monday. I promise we're going to have food, food, but I don't know. I just needed chocolate. That's to, so today we're doing chocolate. Okay. And these are good because they're really high protein and they're so nutritious as you will see that you think you're getting a treat, but it, yet it's really yummy and they're super easy to make. Okay. So are you ready there? Yes. My chef, we need two cups of dates, please. And we're going to put the dates in our food processor. I have a Cuisinart food processor, which I love. There's the dates. We've got those going on. Here, why don't we dump them in? Here, make your life a little bit easier. Two or one? Two cups. Actually, it's going to be the whole pack. Put them in there. There we go. All our dates. We got it. Now, next up, are you ready? Walnuts. We, we couldn't get cashews. Um, the recipe calls for cashews, so we're using walnuts, which works just as fine. Okay, yummy. We're going to use about a cup and a half of walnuts. Actually, no, a cup. Yeah, do a cup and a half of walnuts. Okay. That's so you got, I hope you guys are doing this in your kitchen as well, because the recipe's down there, and hopefully you got the, cash, the recipe before that. Just a couple and a half of walnuts. One cup and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Okay. Okay. Want to help point that in? Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. And a cup. And a cup. There we go. Okay. And in today's recipe, because I just wanted to add a little bit more protein today, so in today's recipe, we're also going to add in hemp seeds, because hemp seeds is a complete protein it's essential fatty acids which feeds the brain of this you know cute little child here and all of your children as well too so it doesn't change the flavor of anything but yet it adds a lot of really good stuff that which is really really good and nutritious for our brain and that way we don't lose our keys or lose where we put our really cool black glasses okay you ready I'm gonna add some of those in there too I probably added like two tablespoons I kind of threw that in there I know I did so hello hello okay now what do we got? Now I hope you guys one have been taking one fourth coconut. Okay, so I hope you guys have been taking advantage of everything the Bump Club has because they've got some great interviews and then all sorts of different giveaways and promotions and stuff like that. So you guys really need to always be watching what's happening because it's pretty exciting, I think. Okay. Oh my God, I lost the page. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. That's why you're in charge right now, right? Okay, one fifty-five. Here we go. Now we got you got the coconut. Now we got a scoop of protein powder. I like to. Uh oh, almost spilled that one. I like to use organic peak performance. This is from mybodysymphony.com, and I will add it into the um, list there. It is raw plant based protein powder. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that he takes all the ingredients. I actually met the owner and saw how they make this stuff. He takes all the ingredients and puts it into a big grinder and just grinds it. So there's pumpkin seeds and there's um, hemp seeds and chia seeds and all sorts of different seeds in there and he blends them up and that's how he creates pr protein powder and he puts in fresh vanilla um, and so that's how that happens. Now, one quarter cup of cacao. So cacao is the root, I do powdered cacao. I get this actually from a local farmer's market but you can get it from Whole Foods. It is the root of chocolate. It's incredibly messy, hold please. 
Um, and it is basically, it's a little bitter, which is why, hold on. Um, it's because it's raw cacao, and that's why we're using the dates, of course, to sweeten this puppy up. Now, are you ready? We might have put everything in there a little bit too quick, but nah, we're good. Why does it matter? Let's do this first, and then we're going to add in a little bit of coconut oil and honey, but let's mix that up first, because we got a lot of stuff going on in there. Okay. And I'll get the coconut oil out. So, we're using Wait, this stuff. coconut oil in here, too. Got it. Extra virgin, cold press, unrefined, just the way I like it. Are you getting the tools out? Ready? Go. It's going to be loud. It's going to be loud. Be prepared. Okay? Go. Go again. Okay. So, we are going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. Oh, you're gonna do it for the top? There you go. One. And coconut oil is awesome. Um, it's a good quality fat, especially when it's raw, cold pressed, unrefined. Okay, raw, cold pressed, unrefined. That's how we like it. Um, and so that's really good. We got honey now. You've got one, two tablespoons of honey and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, let me rinse that off. Here. I'll rinse it off. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Two tablespoons of honey. And what's going to happen is it's going to get stuck in there, so then you're going to have to kind of dump it in here. So you might want to use that so you can really get it in there. Okay, guys, so, uh, you know, from last time, I had a lot of really good questions in regards to how do we feed ourselves during this time that we're at home a lot. And I just encourage you guys to cook. And I encourage you guys to cook with the thought process of, I need to make sure that there's enough protein in all of my snacks and meals because that's what's like better. I think I'm going to turn that off for now. Let's see. Hold on. Podcast. There we go. Sorry, guys. I just, I think the light, the, um, the dark shades kind of got distracting. So we want to make sure that we're giving our family plenty of protein and good quality fat because that's what keeps us satiated for a longer period of time and doesn't allow these energy spikes and falls. Okay. We need good quality carbohydrates. Do not get me wrong, but we need it in combination with protein and fat, which is why like this, look what we've put in here so far. We've put in our nuts. That's a good quality protein. It's also got good quality fat in it. We put in some coconut oil, good quality fat. We've got um, our seeds, our hemp seeds, protein right there. Dates actually has a good amount of protein in that as well. And then it is our sweetener, right? So, and then of course we use our plant-based protein powder. So all of that is really good in there. And then we've got her using her fingers, which is the way that we should be cooking. We washed our hands, I promise. Okay, but that's probably one of the benefits of us cooking here and not allowing you guys to like taste our food because then that way we can use our fingers. And it's only our fingers. It's all good. Here, I'll take that. You want that? Okay, now. Do you want a napkin? No, I got it. Oh, you got it? <laughs> okay, do we got no, cinnamon? cinnamon? Oh, cinnamon, hold on. Oh, now I'm sticky. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see here. We got cinnamon going on. It's like a teaspoon of cinnamon. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, well, we still need it for the measuring cups. Oh, there's a measuring cup thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's get this teaspoon going. We got cinnamon here, and we're going to put that in there. Okay, and there we go. There we go. Now blend that up, and we will get this going. Okay, so now, guys, here's what I want you to know. This is just one recipe. It's going to get loud. Let her, let her do her thing. Go for it. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a little... Do we have a plate up here? I can see it. Okay, we're going to... Now we're going to create a factory. We're going to dump some coconut on this plate like this. All right? Okay, don't worry. I will show the plate. So I've dumped coconut 
on the plate like that. Yeah, there we go. Now, we're going to make balls. Without getting cut. Uh, without getting cut from the thing, all right. We're going to make little balls out of this. Now, here's something, guys. This is, like, such a great snack. And they store well in the refrigerator. They, they can be there for a week, even longer. Okay? You could freeze them if you wanted to also. You can? Yeah, you can freeze them. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So now you dip them in coconut like this. And so now we got a little coconut ball. We're going to stick it here. Now, what, I, what we're doing is we're putting it on um, parchment paper. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Parchment mm -hmm. paper on a cookie sheet. And we're going to put them here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick them in the refrigerator for just, just a few minutes so they can kind of solidify a little bit. And from there, then I'll move them into like a big baggie and I'll leave them in the fridge for us just to kind of go and grab and eat. And it's a great snack. And it feels like you're eating something junky, but you're not. You're eating something really yummy. So that is the goal of these things. Now, get creative. Think out of the box. You don't have to follow my recipe. You could use other nuts, okay? You could use goji berries. You could use mulberries. You could make these any way you wanted to. You could add more protein powder. You could just do anything you wanted to, and that way Here's you've got... Huh? I have a clean hand. What do you need, my friend? Sleeve. Oh, sleeve, please. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you can make these any way you want. Now, do you guys have any health and nutrition questions? Please ask in the thing down here below because I am here to help you guys, especially during this time, and we're trying to feed all our picky eaters. And so, like, <laughs> with the pickiest of eaters, well, like, she's gotten better, though, I must say. You have gotten quite better. But, you know, here's the thing with your kids. Please don't feel like, oh my God, my kid's not eating. I got to feed my kids, so I'm just going to give them anything. Don't do that. You're really, you are creating their health foundation right now that is going to last them until they're 50 or 60 years old. So if we're going to do that, let's give them really good quality stuff like we just made here. Right? So these, you think we need, well, that's fine. We got plenty of coconut. So that's the key to these things. And let me tell you what, these kind of balls, these kind of protein things that I make here, we end up freezing them so that there's always some kind of a snack that you can grab out of the freezer and pull out and use so that we always have them readily available. And they're, you know, again, it's good quality pro protein and it's a good snack. Now, which I've done before, if I had a picky eater who didn't want to eat something, and let's say they said to me, oh, can I eat one of these things instead? Well, I kind of would say, okay. It sounds weird. I know it does because it just seems like it's a treat, but it's not. It's okay. This has a lot of good quality things in it, right? And so we're not giving them junk. This is so much better than a cookie or mac and cheese, okay? And you I know you... can probably form it into a cookie. Huh? You can probably form it into a cookie. You could form this into a cookie. Yeah, you don't have to form this into a ball. You can form this into a cookie if you wanted to. If you want to form it into different shapes, you can. That's all up to you, okay? But these are important things for you guys to remember with your kids. So when you're dealing with your picky eaters, that's what I want you to think about. And if you're a new mom and you're like, oh, you know, I'm, I don't really, I haven't started feeding my kid yet, you know, because they're little. And I'm really not sure how I'm going to start feeding them. I want you to really think about your creating their palate. So don't get too carried away. And I listen, I get it. I've got two kids and I, I know how people get. And your friends have all good intentions, but they start kind of telling you what to do. And then you're like, hmm, that's not really what I wanted to do, but they say I should do that. So I think I need to. I want you to kind of learn. You got to learn and read. You're, you're growing. I always say you're growing an adult from scratch. So because what I'm saying you're growing an adult from scratch, what I mean, just like if you were building something, you wouldn't just go blindly and build it. You would go do homework, right? So go and do homework about the different ways of feeding your kids. And kind of remember that every meal and snack, you want to make sure there's a good fruit or vegetable in there, okay? Because you're creating, again, you're creating their palate, and you want to make And as you start making food, you can start making combinations of stuff. And for years, I hid quite a few ingredients, if I must say so myself in a lot of the foods that this person here is eating. She never knew it until I got her into the kitchen cooking. It was very comical. Um, but it's important to know that, yeah, just hide the stuff in there. Make sure it gets in there. And then later on, the way that I say to do it is when they're really little, you blend it all up, you hide it, you don't even tell them it's there. You can call it whatever you want to. I used to make eggs with spinach for my son, and I told him they were incredible Hulk eggs, and that's why they were green, and he bought it. Okay, so 
with that said, um, you know, we did that for a while. And then when they get older, then you get them in the kitchen cooking. And then they're going to realize there's some other stuff in there. And then they're going to go, you mean I've been eating that my whole life? And you go, yeah, I know you have been eating that your whole life. It's all okay. It's all good, okay? And so you want to, you know, keep all that in, in mind there. It's all really good. So we, we're making a lot of this mixture here. I'll show it to you guys when we're done. They're so yummy. Um, okay, so just all, those are really important things to keep in mind. How many of you guys send me a little message? I want to hear. I want to know who's new mom. And then if you're not a new mom, I want you to tell me what are the ages of your kids. Stick them in the comments, please. And if you got a question, stick that in there too, okay? <laughs> but I got to know you're there, so put something in there. I do know we have North Carolina in the house. I usually go in September to North Carolina. I go to Raleigh and teach at a conference at the um, at NC State. But we're not going to do it this year. We're going to do it virtual. You are? That, yeah. Isn't that the way it goes? Virtual, virtual classes now. It's all virtual. Okay. So we've got... Three, six, nine, twelve. I'd say we're probably going to make close to twenty of these here. in here. Okay, look at that. Oh, you've gotten all messy. Ooh, mom to be. Cool. Congratulations. How many months? How many months? Make sure you're eating. Now, here's the thing. I want to tell you something, mom to be. Her name is Sandra. Third baby on the way. Four and six year old girl. We are from San Antonio. San Antonio. I went to high school at MacArthur in San Antonio, and I went to middle school in Jackson. That's my history. I was in San Antonio also. But to my, Sandra, my mom-to-be, listen up. This is something that someone told me when I was pregnant, and they, she, my girlfriend looked at me, and she goes, listen, you're growing a baby from scratch. And I, and that, I took that very seriously, and I was like, whoa, baby from scratch, okay. So I, I really worked on what I was eating. It's important, okay? It's like you're an athlete in a weird way. And so you got to make sure that whatever you're eating is good stuff because you're, you know, you're starting the foundation for your kids. So take a peek. Ooh, five months. Look, there we go. Is that too big? Those two? Nah, well, they're pretty large. Those are very large. Yeah, I think you should cut these and just, yeah, let's make, oh my God, that is enormous. I didn't even look. I didn't look. She slipped like huge ones. Four weeks to go, Sandra, five months. Wow. That's very exciting. Enjoy every moment of it, really, every every single moment of it. And empower yourself with knowledge so you don't get overwhelmed with all the other moms kind of telling you what to do. Because I don't know why we do that, but we tend to tell people what to do. And we shouldn't. We should just kind of allow everyone to take their experience and do it their way. But, you know, everybody means well. But you got to just empower yourself with knowledge so you do the right things. And that you feed yourself and your kids the right way. And that's it. So, group... I'm so glad you were here. And so what we're gonna do is next Monday, next, she's gonna be back. Next Monday, we're gonna work on a yummy breading that you can use for fish and for chicken. Um, and so that's gonna be next Monday's, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's what's gonna be. So if you guys don't have any other questions or anything like that, if you do, stick them in here. But if you don't, um, you can always message me. Please feel free to message me any questions you have. I'm here to help. And I want to make sure that you guys are, you know, you feel good about what you're doing with your kids and feeding them the right way and making the strong, strong next superheroes of health. And also, you guys, and it's in there in the comments, is I have a course for parents. It's called Nutritional Brilliance. It's an online class. There is a free intro class that you can go in there and watch so you can see what that's all about. But that course is great, especially if you're not 100% sure how to feed your family because we want to, again, make the next superheroes of health. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. Good start of the week, right? And we're doing it with chocolate. So please enjoy. Oh, yeah, really good. You saying peace out now? Bye, guys. Bye. Let's see here.